Now that you know what gear you need and you know how the process works, let's consider where to put all the junk you'll be using. As I mentioned earlier in the aid climbing gear section, you'll want both a wall harness as well as a double gear sling with lots of gear loops. Every one has a preferred racking style, so take this info as a mere suggestion. You will determine your own personal system that works best for you, but we will explain to you the system that has been successful for us. On my harness, I like to keep stuff that I will need once I get to the anchor at the end of the pitch. These items might include a cordelette or your preferred anchor material and a few locking carabiners. In general, on my harness, I'll keep items that I use infrequently, such as rivet hangers, hooks, and my haul device. Always take your Jumars and clip those off to the back and out of the way. These will help assist in hauling, and if you should take the big fall, you will use them to jug back up to your high point. I like to have the bare minimum amount of stuff while climbing, as I will be carrying a bunch of gear and the weight adds up. So here I am racked and ready to leave this first pitch. I've got my daisy chain and aider here. Got my second daisy chain and aider on this side. And then I have all my gear here. So here's the three beaners that I discussed. A couple sport climbing quick draws. All the shoulder length slings over my shoulder. I have stoppers because I tend to not use too many stoppers. I have them racked on my harness just because they won't be in the way. They're uh, items that I don't use too much. And then on my gear sling here, I have all my cams. So I've racked the alien cams, my smallest cams in the front. And then I work my way back to the biggest cams here. Same on the left side, small cams in the front, larger cams in the back. Also, you'll notice that I've put several cams on one carabiner. You could imagine if I had, uh, you know, 12 cams here all on one carabiner that this could become such a quite a large mess. So what I've done is put several cams on each carabiner. And the other thing that's really important to notice is I put different sizes on the carabiner. That way, if I were to drop this while I'm leading a pitch, ah, I still have another purple and a green here. You can imagine if I had all my greens, 0.75s on the one carabiner and I dropped it, no more 0.75s, that could be a big deal. Typically, I'll put all this gear on my double gear sling. Which side you put cams, nuts, or slings on is up to you. Keep in mind to balance the weight so you remain comfortable and don't feel like a ship about to capsize. Also note that double gear slings usually have two slings per side for racking. One is set a little higher than the other. On the higher one, I'll rack all the slings and carabiners and quick draws, as you will be constantly grabbing and removing them. It also keeps them from hanging down and annoying you. On the lower sling, I'll put the cams and the nuts, the hooks, and other gear that I may need. Shoulder length slings, I'll usually just wear bandolier style. I also know folks who will clip five or more to a single beaner and just let them hang down. Typically, we won't rack them as trick tripled or trad draws because often you place a piece that already has a carabiner or you double it up or basket hitch or girth hitch the thumb loop off a cam. Once again, you'll find your own system. This is just one of a thousand ways to do it.